Hey guys, this is David again from ContentBlogger.com. Today I'm here at Four Knots and uh, we're doing a little uh, a little interview session here with a few different bands. And right now I've got the great pleasure to be sitting here talking to Heaters. Hi hey guys, how are you? Hey. Thanks so much for taking your t some time out of this uh, crazy busy day and sitting down with us and having a little conversation. How's uh, how's things going so far? You had a great set out there. I was out there in the pit for it. And yeah, it was a little stressful this morning, you know, in the heat and stuff. And yeah. In, but things chilled out. Things chilled out and it all worked and everything, the set went down pretty good. It's a little bit difficult when you're one of the first bands on a day like today. They just they have such a huge selection of bands. There's so many bands that are playing yeah. today that, you know, where you slot in, it's like, oh, how many people are going to be watching? How many aren't? And, you know, whatever. And I, I think one of the best things is that, you know, shows whether or not you're serious. If you get out there and you can play a great hard set and, and give it everything um, and not have a big huge crowd, it shows you're serious about what you're doing. And, uh, I mean, I feel like that's like one of the most important things for us is whether or not we're playing in some dive bar for five people or whether or not we're playing Austin Psych Fest for a few hundred. It's coming to the table and playing with the same intensity every time and just being there and being involved in the music. Being present with whoever's yeah. present with yeah. you. Exactly. And you know, and, and nowadays it's really funny, you know, right now we're doing this video on my camera and stuff. But there's so many cameras out in every show that you play. Everyone's got a camera somewhere or other. Part of that, even if it's just part of that, that performance, it might get shared around the world. Yeah. You know, so even if there's only a few people in front of you at that moment, that doesn't mean that that particular, that particular set isn't going to be seen sure. by somebody in Germany 20 years from now yeah. or, or whatever. You know, and um, yeah, I think I think it's pretty cool. That, you know, you guys take it, you know, to the max when you're out there. Take it to the max. It's such an 80s kind of turn out. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> there you go, there you go, you know? Um, so you've got a uh, seven inch that just came out uh, called Mean Green. Um, what, what made you thought, well actually, okay, so you've got that and uh, coming up in September, you've got a new full length album coming out called Holy Water Pool. Um, what was the, the process behind that? Why was it, hey, let's put out a 7 inch now and then put out an album later? What was your yeah, thought that's process? A good um, our record label is kind of a big part in that decision, but uh, Mean Green and Levitate Thigh, which are the two songs on that 7 inch, were home recordings. And uh, we had uh, an idea in mind to do our full length after doing those. And uh, they just wanted to get us hyped. So, like, the audience hyped about our full length by putting out the 7 inch, I think. It was just kind of like a little debut. Okay. Type of teaser type of thing. Like, hey, this is what we can do, and this is what yeah. this is what you're in store for. Yeah. Um, type of thing. And get people out at the shows. Have something at the shows. You know, I, I think one of the things that is forgotten um, nowadays uh, amongst a lot of mainstream music fans is how little money is involved. And something like a little seven inch that you can sell at the shows and have something to sell, a t-shirt at the shows, so that pays for gas money to get to the next show. Yeah, totally. That pays for whatever totally. to get along and yeah. to keep the wheel rolling yeah. uh, uh, and, and keep momentum going forward. Uh, whereas it, and, and it allows maybe fans in a smaller place to really support you. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, one of the things I, I mentioned to a few of the bands here today, one of my, one of my lines of the day has been, um, it used to be do it yourself, DIY. Oh, uh, you know, like you said, you, you know, the Mean Green, the, the the two singles are, you know, self-produced in your bedroom kind of thing, whatever. And nowadays, it's DIT. It's do it together. It's like, well, what kind of gear does your friend have to be able to record this? What kind of, you know, gear for this? Or, you know, hey, this guy's a great movie maker. That is, you know, a friend of mine is making, you know, some great shorts and stuff. How can he help us make a video? That's how our uh, full length. Yeah. Perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I, th I, I think it's just a. That's what the the music industry is about nowadays. Yeah. You know. I feel and, pretty embedded in that whole idea. And even the record label we're working with for uh, Beyond Beyond is Beyond uh, that we did our seven inch length with. Uh, just been a great team. You know, they're not. Uh, they're still like an independent label. They totally got their feet on the ground and are kicking ass. But you know, they're sort of new to it too. So it's just. Learn together. Yeah. You know, it's like you don't have to know every aspect about everything that has to do with the music industry. You just have to know 
how to get that information when you need it. You have to have someone that you can go talk to that does know that information, or wh whatever it happens to be. And uh, another, you know, really great thing about the do it together. Uh, kind of thing and it's the team it's really the team you build you know a lot of times people sit there and you see you up on the stage and okay you're humping your gear and you're putting it bringing it in you know beforehand before sound check and whatever you don't have a whole set of roadies or whatever but realistically there are a whole set of people that are helping you do what, what you want to do so you got this, the new album coming out um, what went into that what were your thoughts behind making that and is there a theme of behind it? Is it's an expansion of sound. I mean, I, like no one talked about earlier, I, our last album was very not like extremely straightforward garage rock, but it was really based around like a, like a central sound, and this one is much more. It's, it's, it's just weirder. Yeah. Weirder. Oh, yeah. great. You know what? Yeah. Nothing is a better terminology for a record than weird. Yeah. You know, that's that's like such a great great word. Yeah. To use to, that to, to hook to your to your album, yeah. yeah. Because you know who wants to sound like everyone else? If I no. if I wanted U2, I'd go buy a U2 album. If I wanted you know Metallica, I'd go Metallica. Whatever, I want. Yeah. You That's know. Like the trouble of garage rock sometimes too. Not the trouble, but it's awesome music. Love to consume it, make it, but it you know it needs to get lost in the flair sometimes. Yeah. yeah. You, you need to put a little life into it, a little life spark. That's you. And just, yeah, your own, your own interpretation on it. Uh, exactly. It's super important to like, that sounds like it So I noticed you have the happiness shirt on today. They're playing today. Yeah, those two right right Oh, they're playing right now? Oh, oh, damn, damn, I'm right missing now, them. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you're supporting the band. Yeah, you know, those are our buds. They're super cool dudes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I caught them last, they were here for uh, last fall. Okay. And I caught them, they're a really, really great yeah. band from England. Um, so you guys, uh, with the album and stuff, you must be doing some touring. Any, any ideas on that yet, or is nothing set yet? Or right now, we just started a two month tour. So we, this is, we've been out for a week, but we'll be out in the next two months. Okay, so this is part of a of a tour. I know some of the bands that I've talked to today have been. Um, have been that it's you know oh it's a one-off type of thing, yeah. but uh, you guys have, have been able to work this into a yeah. into a real tour. Great, yeah. great, great. Where are you going next? Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah. Eh? Cool, cool. Next stop, and then Montreal and Toronto after that. Yeah. Awesome international tour, right? Yeah, yeah. and then we right. go all the way west. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so, do you guys have a website or uh, Facebook or yeah, what's your what's your Facebook biggest? Is, is heaters the three S's, and then uh, our band camp is probably our biggest go to for sharing for information and, heaters. and music. Heaters All right, great. Well, we we'll got to definitely get that information out in this in this age of multimedia, and yeah, yeah. you know, and it's Instagram all it's all about your Instagram. Too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Heaters Feed, band. Heaters band. band. Okay, yeah. okay. It's all, it's all about feeding that Instagram monster. Oh, oh that's a, that's a picture for Instagram. You know, but it's 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 different than the way it used to be. But that doesn't mean it's any worse. It's you know, it's just it's, it's using different. Your resources. It's it's yeah. using what you have. You know what? When I, when I was a young man a long time ago, it was you know printing stuff out. Maybe you had access to somebody at the school who would let you use that that printer thing, sure, so you yeah. could print out your your your, your fanzine or your flyers or whatever. It's just a matter of. Exactly like you said, you know, using the things that you have at your at your disposal. So, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you sitting down with me, and uh, we look forward to seeing you out there on the road this year and uh, the next couple of months. And thanks so much. Yeah, thank you so much.